Hello everyone, I'm Q8S7 from Grade 9 Session A5 and welcome to PowerSpin's project presentation. Before the presentation, I would like to review the topics from Grade 9 Science. I've learned electronic structure and formation of compounds, life process of organisms such as photosynthesis, process of plant nutrition, blood circulation and respiratory system. And under the force and motion, I've learned balanced and unbalanced forces, action and reaction forces, frictional and elastic forces, mechanical waves, and electromagnetic waves. Next, we have plate tectonics, natural hazards, forms of energy, inheritance and representation, chemicals used in agriculture and food industry, organisms and their environment, fossil fuels, applied semiconductor materials, and lastly, universe and observable things in the space from the Earth. Now let's take a look at the overview of this presentation. In this presentation, I'll be presenting about permanent magnet and electromagnet, motor and dynamo, types of dynamo, two scientists and the theorems, structure of the dynamo, the main part of this presentation, which is the project creation, and lastly, the conclusion. I'll be presenting about the lessons under the subtitle called Permanent Magnet and Electromagnet, which is in Unit 6. As far as I've learned, there are two types of magnets, which are Permanent Magnet and Electromagnet. Permanent Magnet always show north and south, and is magnetic forever. On the other hand, Electromagnet is magnetic only when electricity is supplied. Next up, we have motor and dynamo. There are two types of motor, an AC and a DC. But mainly, motors use electrical energy to create mechanical energy. For dynamo, it uses mechanical energy to have or create electrical energy. Here in the first picture, the normal dynamo, we can see that from the rotation, we can get electricity. Same score for the second picture, the bicycle light dynamo. In dynamo, there are two types, self-excited dynamo and separately excited dynamo. As far as I know, self-excited dynamos are simpler and more commonly used in smaller or off-grid systems, while separately excited dynamos are used where precise control of voltage is required. Dynamos are mostly used in wind turbine power plants, hydropower plants, and steam power plants because dynamos use rotation to create electricity. Dynamos are mainly DC currents, but there are some alternators out there. Inside of DC dynamo, the armature goes from north to south, while for the alternator, it goes from south to north. Another difference is that only DC dynamos have split ring commutator because the current directly flows non-stop, unlike the alternator where the current sometimes stop when the magnetic field is perpendicular with the armature. This presentation's theorems are based on these two scientists, Michael Faraday and John Ambrose Fleming. Michael Faraday is a British scientist from the 19th century. For John Ambrose Fleming, he is also a British scientist, but from the late of 18th century. Michael Faraday's basic concept is about the connection between magnetism and electricity. When we bring the magnet near the coils, we can see that the integrator is moving, which means the current is flowing. This is because of the magnetic field. When we move the magnet away from the coils, we can see that the integrator drops. Fleming's right-hand rule mainly shows the direction of the magnetic field, the direction of force, and the direction of current. We can see that they are perpendicular to each other. Dynamo is a DC current. It includes permanent magnets, an armature, copper coils, commutator, and carbon brushes. For this project, I'll be using wind power to get electrical energy, just like the wind turbine, but it'll be a mini version of it. To create this project, there is a list of materials that are needed. A dynamo, minus DC 6 volt, rudder blades, wind source, which I'll use a dryer, LED bulb, soldering gun, hot glue gun, and cables. Now that I got all the materials, let's get started. 
First, I created the rotor blades using plastic spoons, a wheel, and stuck them together using a hot glue gun. Next, I glued together all the necessary parts to the rotor blades. Then I made the whole figure using the soldering gun so that the dynamo shaft can fit into it. And I fixed the dynamo and the rudder blades. I added hot glue so that it stays in one place without moving. After the gluing and attaching parts, I started with the wiring parts. Oh, and before fixing the cables, I tested out the LED that I'll be using if it works or not with the 3 volt battery. After that, I continued with the wiring.
Now that everything is settled, let's check out the results. As I mentioned earlier, the dynamo I used has 6 volts. In the video, we saw that the light lights up when the wheel is going this way. So, how about the other way? Since dynamo provides electricity for movements, aren't they going to be the same? Well, let's try it out. Oh, it didn't work. So why doesn't it work when it's moving the opposite direction? Well, it's because in the dynamo, there are two magnets, north and south. The correct way the armature in the dynamo should rotate is north to south. So when I tried out the other rotation, it didn't work because it was moving at the wrong direction, which is south to north, not north to south. Since it was moving at the wrong direction, there was no electricity, so the light didn't work. Now let's look again to the correct way. Please pay a closer attention to what will happen. Do you realize what happened here? Let's rewatch it. So the question appears, why does the light light up when the wheel is moving in the correct direction? Well, since the rotor is moving the correct direction, it is also rotating from north to south. As a result, the electrical energy is received, so the light lights up, showing as a proof that it receives electricity. But why does the light still lights up a bit when the wheel is moving slowly? That's because the rudder is still rotating at the same correct direction. Since it's the correct direction, no matter how much speed the rudder blades at, the light will still light up. But the lighting will depend on the speed the rudder is moving. It'll be clear if you rewatch this video, especially the end part. Now that the project has come to an end, let's summarize what we have learned. There are two types of devices that involve electrical energy and mechanical energy. They are motor and dynamo. Motor converts electrical energy to mechanical energy. It uses electric current to create magnetic fields to move coils. Motor has both AC and DC, but since electricity is involved in our daily use, DC is rarely used. So AC is more popular and a more used motor. To conclude, motor uses electricity to create motion. Dynamo on the other hand converts mechanical energy to electrical energy. Not only it can be used at non-renewable power sources, it can also be used at renewable power sources. It produces DC current. It is mostly used at bicycle light dynamo, hydropower plants and generators. So basically, dynamo generates electricity from motion. We can also see at the project shown previously. When the rotor blades rotate in the correct direction, which is from north to south, it provides electrical energy, which is the LED light shown as proof. That's all for my project presentation. Thank you for watching till the end.